Ohio State this. Can you reflect on, on what brought you to this point from last time you were when you were playing football at Plantation and now you're here? Uh, yeah, I, I, well, sometimes I just look back a lot, uh, especially knowing that uh, at first I wasn't even planning on coming to Ohio State, and, and now uh, I feel like uh, God has a plan, and, and I feel like the best plan for me was to come here and, and everything just plan out the way uh, – the way I, I hoped and, and, and the way I, I feel God planned it to, to go and and, uh, and and now I get to play at home in front of all my family it's just gonna be a it's a, a great experience. I imagine that that time there's so much turmoil that's happened in your career at Ohio State that there were times that you questioned if that was the right decision to go to Ohio State. That was a pretty bold move at the time. Anything like that go through your mind, or did you stay firm to your convictions? Oh, I, I stayed firm, firm to my decisions and everything. Uh, once I got up there and talked it over with my family, I felt like I definitely felt like that was the best decision that I ever made. And uh, you know, sometimes when you're when you're up there, you wish you was home because of the weather, or it's just so far from home. But but I feel like that was definitely the best decision for me, and I really happy with my decision. What does this game mean to you personally? How much extra thought do you? say you give this game compared to a different game because of everything that goes along with it? Um, I feel like this, this game uh, is, is, is more important than most of the games we, uh, we played this year, especially because it's a, it's a championship game. Uh, uh, not many teams get to say they went to the Orange Bowl or playing the BCS game, and, and we got the opportunity to do so, and, and especially in, in this uh, atmosphere. And, and for me, it's home. But for some guys who've never been to Miami or might not ever come back, this is going to be one of the – best experiences that they're ever going to have. Brian, how big of a loss is it uh, if, if Noah can't play? And what, what's, what's, what are you guys, obviously you're <laughs> your teammate. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a huge loss if Noah can't play. Uh, uh, we, we need some guys to step up if he, if he won't be able to, but it'll, it'll be a huge loss. He He's our uh, sack leader on the team right now, and he's uh, one of the top in the Big Ten, and he's, he's one, he just he just has consistent pressure on the quarterback and, and does a great job in the run game, and, and he has a lot of experience. He, he played every game this year, and and um, w if we don't have him out there, it'll just be a, a, a tremendous loss. You guys hopeful, or I mean, is there a chance he'll be here, you think? Yeah, we're, we're hopeful. Uh, yeah, we, we really uh, we really think he, we really hope he get everything taken care of and everything uh, everything uh, uh, right so he can get back out here with us. Cause, uh, it, it, it's always uh, hurts when you're not with your brother. You look at this this challenge as you look at this Clemson football team. Obviously, Taj, Taj Boyd, Sammy Watkins. On that. I mean, what makes you guys think you can defend them as far as pass? I mean, everyone's saying there's no way they're going to light you guys up. When you hear that, what do you say? Uh, when, we, when you hear that type of stuff, it, it really just pushes you and, and, and feel your fire uh, because uh, everybody everybody doesn't think that we can do it or everybody thinks that uh, we're not capable. But uh, every time somebody says we're not we're not able to do something, we 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 perform and uh, I feel like uh, us going against our offense is really going to help us out a lot when it comes to going against their offense.